we have here a chest x-ray PA view of an elderly gentleman who is due for surgery the next day. Before we actually comment on this x-ray, just let's take a few seconds off and identify where the abnormality is. What we have here is a very clearly defined air fluid level in the retrocardiac region of this chest x-ray. There can be multiple causes uh, of an air fluid level in the chest and amongst them being uh, lung lesions such as a lung abscess or a cavity that has got infected uh, in a patient let's say of tuberculosis. You can also get uh, fluid spaces in the chest especially post tapping of a pleural effusion so you get a hydronemothorax. Sometimes in a pull through surgery of a CA esophagus you can get an air fluid level of the stomach in the, the chest x-ray. But what we have here is a very common finding. We see this in many elderly patients and uh, what we have here is a large hiatus hernia which is sitting uh, in the retrocardiac region. We know this condition exists and we have to warn the surgeon and the anesthetist of the same. We don't normally do a barium study but in this case a quick barium study was done which uh, clearly defined uh, the stomach lying in the retrocardiac region of the chest. So in summary, this is a very common finding that we see, uh, especially in elderly patients in uh, pre-op situations. So we don't have to panic, we have to just understand that uh, this condition exists more commonly than it is thought of. And uh, though a barium was done in this case, uh, we can almost always confirm that this diagnosis is high hernia based on its location. And if there's any doubt, a quick uh, plain CT scan study can also be done to confirm this finding.